Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are well, okay? Scorpio, we're gonna do your reading, your bonus reading for today, all right? Um, Scorpio, if the video does resonate, remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel so YouTube can see that you re it resonates and you like the video and push your videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. But if it does not resonate, you guys, I will have a link in the description. It will be your playlist. So hopefully one of those videos over there resonate for you. And if you want to support me further on this journey, you could go ahead and click on the Instagram in the below section of this video and follow me on there because as soon as we hit that 5Ks, I will be doing personal free readings on the gram only. So, um, yeah, if you want to follow me, go ahead, but don't type it in, you guys. Just click on the link because there's a lot of people watching these videos and making fake profiles of my Instagram page, okay? All right, Scorpio bonus, please. Any messages for Scorpio bonus? Any messages for Scorpio bonus? So, you know, this fire sign is coming towards you. It could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, all right? This person definitely want to see where things go with you when it comes to building an empire with you, okay? Um, building a future with you. Well, they want to see how things can fall together. This person is definitely thinking about the Ten of Cups with you. They're thinking about happiness, okay? They're thinking about abundance, children, home, a foundation, okay? So let's see here. This person is someone that had, had you hanging or left you hanging before. Um, they're coming back. Um, I just feel like this person knows you for a while because the way they're approaching you is just like, what up? How you doing? you know you want to see me kind of thing you know or just trying to help you out be your friend at first but this is someone that you had to walk away from because you wanted to see if you can find love out there okay because this person wasn't giving you that love and affection and I also felt like you blocked this person because they were playing tricks or playing mind games on you I'm being serious okay I do see a conversation here with you and this person wow look at that the 10 of the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles right underneath each other. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this person that's coming in, you actually walked away from and ended it with them. You moved out for some of you who live together um, or you moved on or you moved away from this person. Wow, a lot of coldness in this reading. So there will be communication with this Aries, Leo or Sag energy. Um, I'm also getting Gemini, Aquarius, or um, Libra energy. Um, I'm also feeling like you're going to be very clouded or you're going to be trying to protect your energy when this person comes in back into your life. This person is communicating about this Ten of Pentacles. It's so funny how this person is ne definitely not just thinking about an empire, but they're thinking about a legacy with you. Well, they're just not trying to start up something to make money and be successful. You know, they're trying to have this linger and leave their name going on, like in this world, you know. Um, they want to leave something behind with you. So, wow. Um, but I feel like that's going to be the communication about what's, what this uh, intentions are. It's about, you know, building a family together building a life together because you know they didn't really give you what you wanted and you had to walk away from that four of cups okay I definitely felt like there was a lot of um, money that was involved in this relationship for some of you or this person took a lot from you when it comes to your emotions um, and didn't give anything back okay some of you might need to watch your spending or watch your money when you're around this person. Not that this person might rob you or anything, but you might try to um, impress this person and you're spending money that you don't have, okay? Okay, so... 
you know, I feel like you guys know each other for a while, and I said that before because of the Four of Cups here, but it's also bringing up with the King of Swords in reverse, where this person is, you feel like, oh, they're not ready for a relationship, you know, when you cut them off, because you know them for a while, okay? This person gave you a lot of anxiety here, all right, but they really want to work this relationship out. I feel like even though there's a lot of um, history between you two, a lot of history between you two, you are burnt out, they're burnt out. I feel like there was a third party in this connection as well, like they wasn't ready for to commit to you and you walked away from them. I mean, you totally like had anxiety issues with this person. It's like when you think about the future with them, it wasn't set. When you think about the future with them, you were just like going crazy, right? And I feel like you lost a lot of faith with this person and you're still dealing with this hurt of this broken heart, okay? For some of you, it doesn't have to be a third party, but since it's under the five of pentacles, it surely is. This person probably made you feel like they went back to someone that, you know, wasn't you. All right, but here your person comes in. They're trying to be very, very mature about this. They want to talk to you. I'm not sure if you want to talk to them. All right, so what's the conclusion here for Scorpio bonus? What's the conclusion? On the back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, the Knight, the well, no, not the Knight, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Cups, not the Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the um, King of Cups. Wow. So it's definitely a third party connection here that this person chose, you know, not wisely in this situation and made you wait a long time before it actually invested in this relationship. We're going to talk about the present moment first and then we're going to talk about your conclusion here. So I do feel like, you know, um, in the present time, this person is definitely thinking about coming towards you, okay? Um, and offering this start, all right? Brand new start here, all right? They're definitely going to take it slow, all right, with you with this page of um, pentacles. But I'm also seeing that there's a lot that this person is still carrying, like trying to keep things under control. But there is this thing that they're overwhelmed with, with the Six of Cups. I'm sorry, it keeps in the Six of Seven of Cups, where this person is definitely having a, a situation with other people, okay? This could definitely be a third party connection or multiple people that they're sleeping with. They cannot give you the long-term commitment that they really want to out loud and jump right into it because they're still dealing with something that they don't know if you're going to be okay with, okay? In the present moment. Now, in the future, in the conclusion, let's see these cards. We have the Tower, we have the Moon, we have the Seven of Swords, and the Hyperont in the decision. I'm going to clarify the decision because it could be that this person is definitely choosing to move forward with you because they definitely want to work out this relationship. This could be a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles here, the Five of Pentacles here, okay? Um, and they're really thinking about working towards this. It doesn't have to be a marriage for some of you who are not married. It's because because this just could be a relationship that they look at you this way okay and happily ever after <laughs> they look at you as a long-term opportunity all right and they made a, a decision about this now this tower moment have happened the moon this tells me that there was a lot of other people that was involved with this that you don't know all the facts that you think you do know but you don't know and i feel like you were trying to figure this all out okay and you think you did, but the moon is still in the middle. But I'm also letting you know that your person wants to get back to undo this tower moment, okay? So let's clarify this um, high for our okay? Ooh, maybe I should use another deck. Yeah, I this is over here. Okay, what's going on with this high for our okay, What's this, 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 this system that was made with this judgment? I was going on with the decision. Verify the decision, please. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. So we have the nine of pentacles on the back of the deck. Clearly this person is not happy being alone. They're losing a lot since they have separated from you. And I also feel like, you know, they're dealing with a lot. They're still protective over this relationship, even though you are feeling like you don't want to be with them anymore. But they're making a decision, making a decision um, on an apology that is coming towards you because they still want to work on this, you know, but they feel like you blocked them out of your life. You know, the King of Swords, King of Swords, like there's no form of communication here, okay? But this is what I see for you, Scorpio, for your bonus. I hope it is, um, hope it is more informational so it can help you move forward. And if it does resonate, you guys, remember to like the video once again. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can see that you like it and push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. And if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I'll have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. And yeah, go over to the Instagram if you want to support me further and follow that page. I will have that in the below section of the video and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.